A four-year-old boy shaken but safe after a suspect on the run stole his mother's car and took off on a wild ride with him sitting in the back seat. The chase made for a chaotic commute and the man behind the wheel hit 110 miles per hour right in the middle of rush hour. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Deborah Takahara. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. The whole thing started at a gas station in Longmont where the suspect hopped in the stolen car. We moved fast here, so follow along. He then took off heading south on I-25 and then east on I-76 to E-470, finally crashing at the intersection of Lincoln and Peoria, jumped out of the car and took off on foot until police finally caught up with him. We have in-depth coverage of the wild ride tonight. Mark Meredith spoke with victims who were caught up in the chaos. Kent Erdahl explains how law enforcement work together to keep people safe in situations like this. And we start with Fox 31 Denver's Justin Joseph. He's live in Douglas County with the details on how the whole dramatic drive ended. Justin? Jeremy, you know, it is a chase that captivated really anyone near a television or radio this morning, and a lot of people were. It started about 50 miles north of here in Longmont with the kidnap of a child. The suspect led police on a chase throughout the metro area, a chase that ended right here in this intersection with one of several car wrecks. There was a four-year-old child in the vehicle. Flying. That's how four-year-old Alan Chevarria Rodriguez described his morning as he emerges from the Brighton Police Department still dressed in his pajamas. His mother at his side. Possible auto theft that just occurred. From this Longmont gas station, she called 911 when surveillance video caught this man stealing her car with her child inside. She left the vehicle running and came outside and the vehicle was gone. The brazen kidnap prompts an Amber Alert and soon Skyfox spots the stolen vehicle racing south along I-25, a approaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Uh, the resolution, okay, that was a close one there with that white car. On live television, Sky Fox guides police with a man first stopping to hijack a gold van along I-76 as its passengers fled. The chase continues south along E-470, where the driver hits Colorado State Trooper Belman He trying to lay stop sticks. This individual was a very dangerous person. By now, police have identified the driver as Ryan Stone, a man with a dangerous criminal history. His van smoking, Stone finally exits Peoria, where he slams into a white BMW. He then hits another driver and stops once again. He approaches the driver slowly, trying to trick her to come outside. When she doesn't, he yanks her from her car and takes off. Moments later, Stone slams into Stacy Radar. I saw out of the corner of the eye of my eye him run the red light, and yeah, he hit me first, and then I hit other people. Stone's final dash on foot ends less dramatically with deputies arresting him. In the aftermath, dozens of victims, including a four-year-old and his mother, all of whom say they're thankful. I'm really shaky, <laughs> and I'm, I, I don't know, I feel like maybe um, after it, the shock wears off, I'll probably be crying. Now, Ryan Stone was taken to the hospital. He is expected to be booked into the jail. As for the deputy tonight, we we're told he made it through surgery and he is expected to make a full recovery. We're live near Belford and E-470. Justin Joseph, Fox 31, Denver.